From this simple lump of mud, artist Dustin Miyakawa creates art. The 26-year-old University of Hawaii art student throws towering vessels, tiny teacups, useful bowls, beautiful yet functional objects for the home. I'd like to think that people can look at everyday objects and see art and beauty in them. His main tool, the potter's wheel, this most ancient of crafts, believed to have been developed in Mesopotamia more than 3,000 years before Christ, today produces modern works of art. The wheel is a unique instrument in the sense that it happens so quickly and so dynamically. Form just is born out of clay and speed. It's just a moving experience and I want people to feel the same way I do. And it still fascinates with its hypnotic spinning, both for the audience and the artist. Many of us look for that, that transcendent experience, that zone state where you're completely engaged in a task. It's a very personal space within myself that I can only access through, through throwing. The process of giving life to a lump of clay can take minutes or days. Miyakawa shapes it, fires it, glazes it, and fires it a second time. What he likes most is the journey, not the destination. On a good day, it seems like I'm not just dictating to the clay, but we enter a dialogue on the wheel where it gives me feedback on, on what it wants to do. And controlling that is, is a large part of my process. It's built solely around controlling the materials. Particularly, he likes the challenge of making large objects. I think it has a lot to do with the relationship between the scale of an object and us as people. I mean, something that's 20 inches tall isn't quite so threatening. But once you start getting into something that's taller than you, it has a different effect. It makes you feel power. And that's what I want to convey in my work. I want people to feel the same power that I feel when I watch someone throw or when I'm on the wheel. Miyakawa would also like to shape something else, the dialogue in the arts community. The current dialogue in the art world is that between art and craft. That art is something that must have concept, that must convey meaning. But at heart, I'm a craftsman. I'm not an artist. I want people to understand that concept can be made through craft, and craft can express just as many ideas as sculpture. Miyakawa wants to bridge the gap between form and function. A simple cup can say just as much as a sculpture. If Miyakawa has his way, his pieces will say something more. They'll tell the world to look out for the next big name in ceramics. In Honolulu, I'm Diana Koh.